Hey everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Fisherman Joe. And we're playing Resident Rise. You're not Nat Pagel? <sighs> I thought about it, but worried that Blizzard would get pissed. Yeah. I mean, you never know. They're busy with Overwatch right now. Which is, it? anybody who doesn't know, fun game. Yeah, they don't have time to worry about people like us. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Jim has pointed out that, you know, if I created my, um, village, uh, out in the mining world where it's nice and happy and peaceful, my villagers would be nice and happy and peaceful all the time. So I'm going to create them out here where there's lots of dangers. Actually, what I said was, um, hey, why don't you make the, the village out, out front or in our areas, because it'll, it'll look cool. But, sure. Let's see. That's what All he right, thinks so he said, but I know what it was actually what I happened. Said. So I am going to make a ton of uh, grout. I am grout. I am grout. Speaking of that, uh, that was a reference. sound. Uh, was it the sound of me placing fence posts? Was it, or was that sound of you placing fence posts a literal explosion? Nope. Then no. I, have an I can safely say personality, no. Huh? I believe you. I'm gonna go check on the basement. Man, that's a good thing I managed to get my mic with my moved. crossbow. Uh, actually, what you should do is go sleep. Um, basement actually looks fine. Basement's fine, everything is fine. Yeah. Raphael's on his last cycle. Um, so that's cool. So while we're cooking that grout, um, my other job is to civilize the mine shaft. Because Ambrose has finished <clears throat> digging the shaft, but now. Now it's Jim's turn to go play with the shaft. Yep. I am determined to work the shaft. So I think I've discovered after talking with Jim that my villagers can be named, but yes, I don't think Jim's going to let me name them. Just like he wouldn't um, let me name his turtles. Listen, I will happily let you name them if you don't name them something completely awful. So, yeah, I won't be naming my uh, villagers. <sighs> you heard it here, Jim won't let me name them. TOS, man. it's the uh, Don't blame me. Blame, blame the Terms of Service. We have a Terms of Service? No, YouTube has a Terms of Service. Oh. There isn't technically a terms of service that says don't be a dick to digital people, but you know what? Let's go with that. Listen, if like if there was a term of service that said don't be a dick to digital people, do you know how how many Dark Souls videos would get pulled? I don't know why anybody kills that merchant. I don't care how sweet the katana is that he drops. Well, the merchant's also door. really creepy. Everybody in Dark Souls is really creepy. True, and you'll notice you pretty much kill them all. Alright, so Ambrose dug out the mine shaft. As you can see, here he is hanging out. And uh, we had a brief incident at the bottom. There is an amount of lava down there. Um, uh, you'll notice that I dropped a water bucket and turned it into obsidian. Oh, speaking of water buckets, let's, uh, let's place a water bucket so that way I can do this. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what he just did. I just jumped down the line. But it sounded impressive. And I think that's what really is, is the key here. Uh huh. Did you do a superhero right. landing? <gasps> no. 
but I very nearly um, landed. <gasps> ha! Catch basin. <laughs> and that is how you mine shaft a mine shaft. And now I gotta wait until he edits the videos. <laughs> so uh, remember, kids, always, always, always put water at the bottom of your mine shaft for exactly moments like the one that just happened. Safety first. What? So now, you can take the water out. Drop down. Safe. We'll actually beat the water down here so we can land. Here's Minecraft, we don't do safe. I am all about the safety. Like I said, safety first. Safety eventually. Now, of course, we're going to need to light this a little better than we have. You'll notice that we found a lava lake that we uncovered. And we didn't even manage to... Are you serious? Wasn't me. And no, I'm rich. I'm at Y46? I'm at Y66. Alright. I thought I had a, an awful lot of uh, lava la er, um, ladders left. Uh, looks like we tunneled into a cave, and there's a big pile of lava here. That's awesome. And by awesome, I mean the opposite of awesome. By awesome, it means we don't need to go to the nether for lava? So, yes. Let's go with yes. Okay, I like yes. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of that cobblestone and put it back. You should probably get around to making a pump. I'm ju I'm about to, actually. You you just you just beat me to the pump. Um, we're going to put some stone bricks down here. Listen, I'm working here, Cocktress. Go away. Harpy, listen, Harpy ladies, we did not invite you to play. Again, always, always, always water at the bottom of your mine shaft so that if you accidentally fall down it, which you almost 100% certainly will at least once, you don't die. To be fair, Jim, I don't think you generally accidentally fall down your mine shaft. You generally just jump. I usually have a jetpack. Sometimes I do not. <clears throat> Sometimes. Alright, so we're going to build a pump and a, we have a lava drum. And we're going to need a couple of redstone engines to run the pump. And rather than... The other way to do it would be to use buckets of water to turn the lava into cobblestone and obsidian and then mine it all out or get it... Because... Jim's lazy. Mm, I want the lava. Well, you we can always make obsidian in the smelter with it. Ambrose has already... Uh, I'm also waiting for the, the grout to cook. Um, and Ambrose has already dug to the to bedrock. Is he gave flat? me the message that said I made it to bedrock, and I'm like, ooh, okay. Um, so there's a there's a hole beneath that lava. You should go swim through it and see what's down there. I decline, respectfully. First thing we need is a pump. So we need an iron gear, a bucket, redstone, and two tanks. What else we need? More torches. Alright, that's your research chest. Sorry, I won't touch that. What are you looking for? Can we get for? some iron out of the ME system? Because I know you were talking about uh, that. I have iron on me. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I can just take some out. You might want to check the. Uh barracks chests. Those guards were hoarding things. <laughs> now I'll just pull some out. I also need to cook some sand. And some glass. So 
Yeah, we're gonna do this just like we did on the old server. We're gonna pump Terribly. that. Uh, well, yeah, probably. We're gonna pump the love out. So we're gonna get two stacks of iron. Are we gonna have a large enough drum? Oh yeah, the drum's almost empty. Oh, okay. There's no way there's that much lava down there. And if there is, then bonus. Um, grab some redstone because I'm going to need it. Is there anything else I'm going to need? Oh, I've still got this hooked up. I don't think so. So yeah, we're running it off the steam dynamo because we ran out of batteries in between uh, episodes. There was an incident. Things happened. It wasn't an incident. We didn't even like leave it running. We just yeah, we forgot to break it. I forgot to break it with the wrench. Broke it with the uh, pick instead. Goodbye, power. Oh, is that what happened? That's what I think happened. Then I guess I blame you. Sure, why not? I mean, um, whatever. I'm not super. I'm worried. used to being blamed. So the first thing we need is an empty iron furnace here, which I clearly don't remember how to make. It's wood. Oh, it's wood gear, then stone gear, then iron. iron. Okay, are you almost done with one of these furnaces? Uh, no. Furnace hog. Yep. So we we'll use the stone gear. There. The iron gear. Now, once we have the smelter, of course, we'll be. And I, I can't resist this. It's pretty amazing that, man, you set off fireworks when you got hard as a rock. Yeah, well, you know. Some people are telling it. One of those people is me. And while I'm waiting for that to cook up, I'm just gonna, you know, take my crossbow and go check on the basement. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go sleep so that I can, uh,. Finish lighting up the outside. Water. Mm. If we just got some spiders down here. We've been lighting. I've been lighting it as we go, and obviously we still need to do a bit of work, but we're getting there. Obviously. So at least once I get my um, village up and running, I can move my tree farm and actually start working on the uh, greenhouse again. Hmm. I don't think I'll get my villagers working at the greenhouse. Um, no? I don't think uh, it's really compatible with all the work I've done on um, uh, Agricraft. Okay. But I'll eventually have golems to do that for me. I've got a pump. And hopefully an ME system with attached barrels to store everything. Now we need a redstone engine, which is a piston, some wooden gears, and some glass. Now we're going to make probably three of those, which means we're going to need uh, six wooden gears, each of which is four sticks. Six times four is twenty-four. I can do math. At least one of us can. I have a calculator. Are made seven wooden gears. I mean, I'll need more, but it's still a little embarrassing. So, Jim, yeah. what is the best way to make a two-deep pond? A two-deep pond? Like, two blocks deep. Dig? Like, should you put, oh, make one deep, fill it with water, and then dig out the uh, second level beneath it? Nah. Not unless you're worried about lava. Are you worried about lava? No, it's just, I usually find when I try and put the second layer of water up, it doesn't always fill in properly. Well, I've never had that happen. I haven't said where I'm putting the pond, which is why I'm filling all these holes in. I'm not sure I want to set up my uh, fisherman at the uh, moat, especially since I plan to replace that with... Actually, you know, there's no real point placing it with Liquid Death unless I want to throw villagers into it now. 
Alright, so now we've got a bunch of redstone engines. Also gonna need a couple of levers. Oh, speaking of levers, you might want to make an extra lever and combine it with a book. What? To make your engineer's manual for when you get into immersive engineering. Oh, okay. I'll get there. Don't worry. That's the way to get started. Do -do 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 -do. And the last thing I need are some fluid ducts. I've got to be able to get things from this pump. And it needs to be hardened fluid ducts. So we need Invar and lead. That's going to be tricky. Because we do not have any Invar, do we? Nope. Didn't think so. Somebody blew up the last server and destroyed it all. Yeah, well. What are you going to do, right? I'm going to send you mining for it. Well, no, because we we need it to pump the lava out so I can go mine. We have the old mine shaft still. Yeah, yeah, kind of hoping it doesn't come to that. Just suck it up. Um, temper it. Um, fused quartz or hardened glass? Do we have... I'm looking at the... Uh, we need an induction smelter for that. Yeah, and it all takes in bar. Oh, muffin. Yeah, no, it's just a little frustrating. Imagine what it would be like if we had, like, uh, Greg's tech or something on here. Oh, yeah, well, with Greg tech, life would be very different. Greg tech, its the whole job is to make life very difficult. If we had Greg tech... I keep hearing explosions. What are they doing outside your house? No, like, in the game. Where? We don't have anything that explodes. I'm wondering if, I want, I'm wondering if there's concussion creepers in the basement and they're going off. We wouldn't see any evidence of I don't explosion. know. You've, you've told me to stay out of the basement. I still recommend staying out of the basement. Let's take a look in, just to be sure. I mean, either that or your turtles are throwing one hell of a party. Which, let's be fair, could be entirely possible. No, no we definitely don't have any... Well, we do actually have some gravel, though, so I can get that. Okay. So we don't need very much, but we do need some. But we can, at the very least, pump some of that out into the pump itself. Pump it? Yeah, pump it. Pump it up. Pump up the jam while the party's moving. Have you been back uh, on an early 90s, late 80s kick? No, I was just at a rock band party last night. Oh. It's the same thing. All right, so let's hop down the mine shaft. Okay, I'm picking up all these punji sticks I placed earlier. Now right. I've expanded the wall. And here is what we are gonna do. We're gonna put the pump up here. Man. You know, I could be fishing right now if Jim didn't insist on safety. Weird, eh? Yeah. We're gonna creep very close, <laughs> very close to it. We're gonna realize that we put that lever in the wrong spot. 
Business is normal. Correction, we put both levers in the wrong spot. <clears throat> this is what happens when you try and prioritize safety. You start getting other things wrong. Yeah. Details. Yes, it's the details you get wrong. The interesting thing is, I don't know how deep this lava lake is, and that is a thing which is concerning. I'm just going to make another lower. Alright. The answer might be not very. Take away the safety fence at the moat. Alright, so this pump will hold 16 buckets of lava. Now, if I put the drum on top of it, will it... Oh, if you put the, 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 the drum directly on top of the pump, it'll, it'll just drain into the drum. Ooh. Victory! Excellent. This also makes my pump setup much more efficient. Happy. Get back to work now. Uh, it looks like we've got more than one lake of lava down here. Yeah, definitely. Okay. But now we're in a position. Or we can just build this pump setup over and over again to clear out anything we might have an issue with. Let's just make sure that we're uh, lighting this up properly. Are you going to make a drum for water? Why? Because you come across like an underground lake or something that you want to get rid of. Oh, well, burn that particular bridge when we come to it too. Lakes don't generally start with bridges. Do they? No. But, you know, we'll figure it out. I'm confident. Bop. 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 Put down a pair of levers. Mm. Some RF going into there. I feel like I should get around to putting gates into my new wall. Meh. So I can get outside and put down punji sticks. Hmm. Doesn't seem like the worst idea. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Now, of course, I just knocked out the block at the bottom of my ladder so that I can see. Um, which means that if I drop down this mine shaft, obviously it will just kill me. In the most embarrassing way possible. I'm now trying to figure out how to arrange that. No, I just needed to look. Whew. That, that nearly ended very poorly. Now, we are going to put the water back. Oh, it, it knocks up the levers. You know, one of the nice things about uh, having taken out all this sand and stuff in front of the castle, we got a great view of that redwood, especially with the sun coming up behind it, like right now. Yeah? Yeah, this scene, this, this me standing here looking at that better make it into the final video, Jim. <laughs> Understood. Oh no, it's just really cool looking. third one going, but that's okay. Still got lava down there, so we're going to keep pumping. Let's go see how that grub's doing. It's sentient now. It. 
<clears throat> that seems okay. Let's light up this mine shaft a bit better. Nothing can spawn in here because there's nothing for it to spawn on, but there's no excuse to get sloppy. I'll find other excuses to get sloppy. The other thing we need to do before we do anything else. Clear some more sand so people can't jump over the fence. No, is that a problem? It might be. I was gonna say put doors on the mine shaft so that you can't just walk in and fall by accident. Because safety first. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. Does this mean you made us some hard hats? Yeah, it would if I could. 